Well, hello everyone. The Ontario Garden here back with another played up automation tutorial. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about croissants or croissants, depending on how French you are. Now, this is part of the mini cafe mod that has things like espresso, cappuccino, different teas, scones, cakes, etc., etc. It's constantly being worked on and updated by the creator who is named Nova on Steam. So head over to the Steam Workshop page of played up to find this um, mod now this can be done two different ways and i'm going to show you both ways both are cumbersome because of the way the butter works you have to pull butter out then you portion it then you put it on a combiner like you can't make this any faster you can't combine or excuse, you can't portion from a butter bin i guess a butter refrigerator and the butter comes out as big sticks not as little pads or little slices of butter. You have to do that with a portion. So it's a bit cumbersome, but this is using um, basically a heated mixer. This method here is me using a rapid mixer, which is irrelevant. It could be a regular mixer. It doesn't really matter. Um, and a safety hub. So I'm going to run it with this one and then I'm going to hook up the other way and then you guys can see which ones you like. So it's pretty straightforward. And you may say, oh no, 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 no. The mixer is going to mix the ball and turn it into dough. No, it won't. It won't do that. Um, because croissants, are not a main <clears throat> right now i believe they will be changed or added as an extra or a side depending on when you're viewing this video but it still is available as part of that mod pack and as you can see right now there's no issues with the butter the butter gets to the mixer quite fast enough especially the first one that's the only issue and there's no problems at all and you can see this is actually pretty good um, this design, I guess if you're including the prep station in the grabber, which again are always optional, but they're always uh, recommended as well because um, then you can portion and have more than one going. And this will never turn into pie because it'll sit like this. If you pick something else up, it'll never turn into pie because the mixture will go from flour to dough ball to pie if you let it do that. And now the other way that we can do this is I'm going to get out of this. Again, so this, this method here is what? Four by three, which is like, eh, okay, fine. Not a, not a big deal. And the other one, I'm just gonna reset this one up, get rid of this, push this out to here, get rid of this one. Or we're gonna actually be swapping this. Again, the rapid mixer here is irrelevant. Again, you could use a conveyor mixer, which doesn't really change how this works, honestly. Um, it works the same exact way, really. Uh, this still has to go like this. Let me grab the other one like this. And you're basically doing something like this and you're turning this into this. And this is going to go here. This is actually is not needed. We can put this down here. So this will work the same exact way. Let's run this. <clears throat> so instead of having a three by four or whatever it was, um, two, four, six, eight, ten is 12 squares. So it's basically two by six instead of three by four. So it's still 12. The other one might have been 10, but you have to count full segments of blocks. Uh, you can't just count the blocks you're using. If, if you're down here, you gotta count these two extra spaces. So this by far is faster, which you can obviously tell is faster because the mixer is only doing the mixing action. I mean, it's double mixing, but it's not also doing the cooking action, but it's not a huge deal. It, because you know it's not a main unless you're burning through these unless you have these on a display stand that's going super fast you wouldn't need to have anything more than a heated mixer but again waiting for a heated mixer is not might not be the best thing because you can use any mixer for this setup you have the grabbers i mean this is something that seems very easy to automate which it is it's butter dough ball mixed cooked done but Look at this, one, two, three, four, like this setup here is five blocks. It's so insane. You could make this super, super compact if you could portion right from the from the butter bin, but it doesn't matter anyway, guys. So thank you so much for joining me. It's been a long-winded one, but I want to show you both methods. Both of them both work depending on what mixer you have, or if you have a safety hob already, you have a bunch of grabbers, use this method. If not, try to save up and try to get a heated mixer or use a conveyor mixer to save one tile. It doesn't really matter, matter or a regular one as well here. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving me a like as well as a comment. Do you like croissants? I love them, by the way. And if you're enjoying the automation videos on my channel or any other video, hit the subscribe button take the bell notification icon and i'll catch you in the next automation tutorial take care now